This is how I essentially get everything in and out of the woods without needing an extra person here. Oh, and too, as soon as I opened my door to come out here, there was a doe bedded up right up over there. Probably should have stayed in, but it's okay. I'll be out tomorrow before the rain comes. So this, that just hooks up, lock the brakes, and feet. Right now my legs are spasming a little bit like that because I've been sitting a long time. That's kind of the main question. Main question I get asked is how come your legs don't spasm? And I tell people I do. They do, but just now after they're flexed a little bit, they're not going to. Uh, um, they're not going to spasm out anymore. So now, this is the part that uh, is kind of a pain in the butt, but if I can get it, get my chair inside the woods, then so be it. I gotta pick my battles, so what I do is I fold that down, I tip this back. way back and back up like so and then I got this this ratcheting strap that I uh, Sorry, turkeys are gobbling just over by me. I was wondering what they were. Lengthen this up. Oh, wrong way. This you can get at Menards. They make a smaller version that lifts like 200 or 150 pounds, but um, this one, this comes in handy for another how I, you, I'll, I'll do a video later on it. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. Cause I got two different setups on how I haul my, this chair back and forth between my house and the woods out here. So this just comes in and around like so. Um, I put my legs together and then my knees and stuff kind of sit there. That comes around. This hooks up. gets pulled like so and then it just sits on my lap like so um, this could get a little tighter though
So then I can use this as a uh, kind of a saddle. It sits on there nice and strong, has it bounced off. So yeah, we're, let's, let's get out of here. back to the truck um, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna set this down and uh, I am going to get loaded up so you guys will see that process um, I gotta change all the battery but uh, yeah hopefully this gives some ideas for you guys um, on how I do things so stay tuned I'll load it up and I'll show you kind of my setup and how I haul it with my truck. Um, so, as you can see, I've got a carrier that hooks into the receiver of my truck, uh, supplied by Action Track um, and whatnot. But the cool thing, what I did is I put these um, trailer jacks on all th on just three sides, not the the side that faces the truck. Um, and what that allows me to do is uh, load and unload the carrier itself um, pretty easily um, when I want to take it off the truck because I just drop those down and get it and then it just slides right out of the receiver. Um, I don't know why Action Track doesn't do that because I mean this thing's a heavy, heavy thing i mean it's there's there's quite some weight to it and i don't think uh, one person could load it themselves without the trailer jack um but uh um but yeah so that's kind of my setup and how i haul my track chair with my vehicle when i'm not using my cargo trailer <laughs> 